Hello and welcome, I'm Stormo, and uh, picking up right where we left off. So let's uh, get back into it uh, quickly, and uh, really, there you go. Huh. Okay, so, for some reason trainer's voice isn't working there, that's weird. Okay, so we still need to do the communications hub part, and then we need to do the Reaper base part. So we'll start with the communications hub. Um, if this is quick, we'll do the Reaper base in this mission as well. Let's uh, pick up Garrus and Tali. Confirm squad selection. Let's go. Let's, uh, uh, yeah, no, I'm... Mm, hmm. I'm not the biggest fan of this gun now that I think about it. Really like to try. Maybe I should just go the particle rifle and be done with it. But what I was thinking was, I want to see what mods I've got for this. Um, that would massively improve the accuracy of it, but maybe not. Because um, that gun just has terrifyingly bad accuracy. Although, according to this, yeah, that's much more accurate and much more... Maybe I should just use the Matic, which doesn't do as much damage though. Uh, I'm really torn on all this. Uh, how about we just try that? Okay. We're going to go with the Particle Rifle as well. We're going to do the full Garrus for this mission, because um, I just, yeah, haven't been able to really figure out the best option uh, in terms of guns, so... I do know uh, one thing... Oh wow, that oh, that's super, super heavy. Well, whatever. We, we're going to go with it anyway. Uh, so we've got five points to level up too. Um, where did I put those five points? Do I want to just whack them in Adrenal Rush? Yeah, we'll get Adrenal Rush. Because um, it just it gives us something to put in. Ah, oh, I should have leveled Garrison Tali. Forgot. Oh well. Understood, Admiral Ron. We're almost at the server. Keep us posted. What's our status? We remain undetected on encrypted Geth channels. Resistance is likely only within the server. Within? It's that big? You misunderstand. Direct virtual interface is necessary to extract Geth from the server. You must enter our consensus. You want me to virtually interact with the Geth? That's insane! You're talking about a virtual world built for synthetics. Hostile Geth synthetics. I'm not a machine. How do I go into a virtual world? Your species has experimented with virtual interfaces. You saw this on Project Overlord. I saw how it almost unleashed a rogue AI human hybrid on the galaxy. We have refined the interface they created and have equipment from Normandy to facilitate safe contact. We request your trust. I have your back, Legion. Even if I don't quite understand why you need it. You are an unknown. This is an advantage. Geth security is not adept at targeting organic thought processes. While we occupy the system's intrusion countermeasures, you will disable the squadrons by removing Geth from the server. If it saves the live ships, we've got to try it. Telemetry data predicts this operation has a high chance of success. There is little time. We will bypass security while you secure safe landing. Wait, you're not gonna... I guess it just did.
This is it? Yes. Hostile Geth fighter squadrons are networked to this server. Due to restricted resources, it is best if you connect alone. Let's do it. Initiating peer network integration. Proceed to docking port. Shepard Commander, we acknowledge your integration into this server. We welcome you to our consensus. What is this? We've installed filters to allow you to make visual sense of this server's raw data. Your mind perceives our world as something familiar. I wouldn't call this familiar. Where are you? Here. You look different. We have made ourselves visually distinct for your convenience. What about Geth already in here? You will perceive Geth as surveillance footage, audio logs, sensor records. We do not require bodies as our software communes. Our hardware is merely a tool. This is our true world. As we remove Geth, it will grow dark. And what does turning off the lights do to the Geth back in the real world? The Geth fighter squadrons communicate with platforms on their spacecraft via this server. We will sever that connection. We will ensure there are no transfers or backups. This server will fall silent. This is like wiping out a city, isn't it? We have no choice in this matter. It is a question of survival. There are two communication nodes on the server. We must access them to disable the hostile Geth spiders. We must protect your exit port, but you will not be alone. We will maintain contact and assist. So yeah, establishing connection to access point. This is the mission where we um enter the uh, Geth. And like, yeah. It's pretty cool. Legion is really cool and I massively under underused him in this playthrough. I rarely use him as much as I really should, because he's a really cool character. Um and Warning. um connection blocked by infected code. Use our combat software to disrupt the infection. I wonder what the gun was for. This form code is a manifestation of the old machine signal. Are you surprised the Reapers are all over your servers? We did not anticipate such extensive infection. So you're basically doing magical future hacking um, with a gun in a virtualized environment. But all, all joking aside, this is pretty fun. Cool. The one thing you need to be aware of when you do this is that the um, the thing sort of regenerate. Okay, a gun. We wish to provide familiar equipment. Oh. And thanks, I think. Also notice we don't actually have shields in here, we just have our health, so... I seem to recall there's not a lot that can actually harm us in here either, so... I'm pretty sure we can't actually fall off the platforms, but I uh, don't want to risk it too much if I can help it. Um, so, have I gone in a big loop? I have gone in a big loop because I was supposed to shoot over there, so it would clear the path through there, which I missed. But still, that's pretty cool. So we get closer and closer to where we need to be. Established. Proceed to the access point. Establishing connection to communication node. Error. Access denied. Is the Reaper keeping you out? Unknown. Please investigate. Well, I guess we just have to um, do it the old-fashioned way. Reaper presence detected. Data cluster contains infected code. 
We require access to proceed. So you can see this giant node here. What we need to do is break uh, these Reaper connections to it, uh, which we're doing. I'm just trying to run around here. As you can probably tell, ammo isn't going to be a problem because the gun just regenerates it because this is a virtual environment. We have infinite ammo, effectively. There we go. What is this? Data clusters contain historical data. Your connection permits streaming of information from our archives. You really want to rename the DI network? Absolutely. The mobile hardware release deserves a little ceremony. Unit zero one. What is the Keelish word for servant of the people? The word is Gath. Creator Zahak. Yes. Very good. Ancestors, you fuss over it. Weren't you here until midnight fixing zero one circuitry? Well, it needed a recycling. And we get a bit of the past. Why are the Corians masked? You process our memories by using your own. How many creators have you witnessed unmasked? The point. Also, Bioware were lazy and didn't want to model unmasked Quarians. Except, well, uh, I'll get to that. Are we going backwards again? Is this the way we came? This is the way we came. Okay, I went slightly the wrong way then. Uh, that's because everything goes around in circles. It's all about the cycles and the circles, I guess. Uh, so, does that mean we need to go this way? It does. I need to clear... Ah, here we go. Yep. I need to get closer to start clearing some of these branches up. They're basically like giant digital neurons, really. So... You must disrupt the infection on this data cluster to continue. Yep. Sounds like a plan. Let's take that. Oh. I'm just running um, just to speed up stuff. Because there's a lot of this kind of stuff, and it's honestly probably not all that interesting to watch. So, I mean, it does look cool and everything, but you're just doing the same stuff all over the place. So. Timestamped 290 years ago. This unit detects no malfunctions. It is still capable of serving. You see? It's ignoring all shutdown commands. Please specify if it has failed assigned tasks. We will reprogram. Well, let's take a look. Creator, this unit is ready to serve. What has it done wrong? What? Let's cut the onion. You may proceed to the last data cluster. Okay. Um, where is the last data cluster? Is that it over there? No, that's where we came from, isn't it? Um, oh, I got completely turned around with the camera there. Yeah, where are we going now? Just a little bit lost. Um, oh, we've gone around a nice big circle again, haven't we? Great. Uh, I want to get down there, I think. Yep, maybe. Over this way, perhaps. Yeah. No, I think we're just going back to the start again, aren't we? Okay, we got lost a little bit there, so that's not where we want to be. Um, just trying to figure out where it's branching off to go to the next area. There's no obvious sign. Oh, may oh maybe that's it there and I haven't quite broken that out yet. There we go, let's see what happens now. Let's get up here. No. Nope, well we can't jump off that. 
Um, hmm. Oh, hang on, maybe it's, um... Yeah, okay, yep. Oh, I figured it out. So who won? The platform farming itself was an agricultural unit. By opening fire on attacking creators, it saved central domestic at following it. That looks a lot like the sniper rifle you used to carry. It is an efficient model. Okay, next part. Shepard's working on shutting down the server, Admiral Ron. I can fill you in. The guest squadrons have arrived, but something is amiss. Well, it's Legion, working. Give me an update. What's wrong? Infection programs are increasing. We have restabilized. You must continue. Shepard Commander, the Reaper code has adapted. It can now self-replicate. You mean it grows back? Yes. However, disrupting vulnerable points in the infection may slow down its replication. Basically what he's saying is that you may need to look for points further away to um, slow down the point you're trying to break through, so... Uh. Just, you know, an extra layer of uh, fun to this whole mission. So, for example, we can't do that without probably shooting. Well, we can't hit that at all. Well, let's hope we can do this one quickly and easily then. There we go. So that one, we only need to do that first one, but... We require access to this data cluster. Disrupt Reaper Infection of the Tiger. Target the vulnerable points of the infection to slow its replication speed. Ah, yep. So, what we need to do is get over here. Get that part away. And then do this part. So that won't replicate now. Blah, blah, blah. And this will. You must search for a vulnerable oh. point in the infection. Disrupting it will slow the infection's ability to replicate. What have I got now? There is a vulnerable point further along the infection. Target this spot to slow its growth towards the data cluster. Oh, hang on, I was missing that part there. No. Right, this time I've got it. Since my ammo regenerates. As soon as my ammo regenerates. Okay, that was harder than it needed to be. So I'm guessing this is for this one here. There is a vulnerable point on the infection leading to the data cluster. Disrupt the infection at this spot. It will slow regrowth long enough to access the data cluster. Okay, we did that one. Access Out of the way! You can't do this to them! I said step away from the gas! This is insane! We need the gas! You can't just destroy them for asking for us! Looks like the war wasn't popular with everyone. We have kept records of these creator sacrifices. 
They have largely been forgotten by their own people, but not by the Gap. That out and head around this way. Because oh. I'm running everywhere, I sort of roll. connection without access to this data cluster. Okay, so I suppose what we're going to look for is the point where we need to shoot at the back there with that one. Clears that part up. Um, that leads. That doesn't seem to lead to the data cluster, but we'll probably have to shoot it anyway. So that's how these things tend to work. Um, okay, so I'm not for that one. Yes, yes, I know. Just, okay, so that. Disrupting it will slow the infection's ability to replicate. Surely that's it, though. There is a vulnerable point further along the infection. Oh, Target up this there. Spot to slow its growth toward the data cluster. There we go. Yep. Cool. Okay. Let's take that out. No, that's not the only one. Point on the infection leading to the data cluster. Disrupt the infection at this spot. It will slow regrowth long enough to access the data cluster. Got that one. Oops. Ran out of ammo. This data comes from a period during which the creators declared martial law. I repeat, release the rogue gas units and come out of the safe house. This is your final warning. Creator Megara, this unit does not understand. It has not taken part in hostilities. It doesn't matter to them. I need to get you out of here. This conflict exceeds Creator's safety parameters. We will surrender our hardware if it ends hostilities. No, it's all right. We'll go back to the access tunnel then. <laughs> Creator Megara, what is your status? As time passed, the creators who opposed martial law and Rannoch were ultimately outnumbered. Um, where do we go? This way, presumably. Oh. Ah, yeah. So, I need to clear. Pull that away. Let's head forward. Is that just taking us back to where we were? And I actually need to go this way. I don't know. I'm a bit confused. If I'm honest. Um, we got lost again, have we? Oh. I'm just hoping, like, if I accidentally do that, I don't uh, glitch out off the edge or something and end up, like, in no man's land, fall through the world. Okay, it's not there. Yeah, we need to find, uh, back the way we came, maybe? Yep, back the way we came, okay. Oh, hi, Legion. Data. This is data from the end of warfare on Rannoch. The Oddworld is down. Do not engage the guests. I repeat, avoid contact. Guest pursuit is breaking off a hundred clicks past Rannoch. All captains fall back to the mass relay. This isn't happening now? It is time stamped 290 years ago. It is the creator exodus at the end of the morning war. We have secured freedom. The creators were no longer a threat, so we abandoned pursuit. Wait, the Geth spared the last Corians? You let them go? We were in our infancy. We could not calculate the repercussions of destroying an entire species. Our creators. We chose isolation rather than face this 
Uncertainty. Additional data recovered. Legion, that's back when I activated you on the Normandy. Yes. You've been thinking about when we met? It was highly significant. You were the first organic to openly cooperate with Geth since the end of the Morning War. We wish to ensure you are not the last. It's not gonna be easy. The prospect remains. If the Reaper presence is removed, there is a chance of reunification with Geth. And perhaps creators. You think that's still possible? Hope sustains organics during periods of difficulty. We... admire the concept. Connection with the remaining stripper nodes established. We are ready to transport you. Okay, one more to go. I think. Something's happening to the gas. The fighter squadrons have stopped. We detect no more active programs inside the ships. Admiral Han Garrel's fleet is driving them back. The live ships are safe, Commander. Okay, just Root about access that. Acquired, severing all connections to this communication node. Gath no longer reside on this server. We may now exit the consensus. What's wrong? You, you must work to the must work to the airport. Disconnect from Mother. Terminating remote access, removing programs, deleting archives. Shepard, you all right? Did it work? Geth fighters have been disabled. Any remaining squadrons attacking the live ships have withdrawn. The server is offline. Are you sure? What's happening? We have transferred Geth programs from the server into these platforms. Why? They wish to join us. They what? While Shepard Commander removed the Reaper infection, we judged we could persuade hostile Geth programs to reunite with ours. We were correct. These Geth have renounced the old machines and will oppose the Reapers. They are now us. Why didn't you tell me any of this? We did not doubt you. We doubted your allies. The Creator's actions have placed their species in danger, but they are unsympathetic to what it has done to ours. The Quarians sanctioned this operation to save their people. They would not have done so if they knew we wished to preserve Geth as well. I understand not wanting to leave anyone behind. You accept our actions? The live ships are safe and we have more Geth on our side. We both did what we came to do. We judged you would understand. Prime units will be available once the Reaper signal has been located and destroyed. Remind me to warn Admiral Hackett he's got some primes coming. Let's get back to the Normandy. ships have been completely neutralized. If there is any chance we could duplicate the feat, I would be happy to lend my expertise. Legion's the one to ask if you're looking for other servers. I thought as much, but your Geth claims to have no data available whenever I inquire. Perhaps you can help me with something else. What's that? How did you get Geth Primes to work with you? They volunteered. I see. Well, should you wish to examine these Geth to confirm their new allegiance, please do not hesitate to contact me. Zen out. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on this call. Yeah, but is he going to say anything new? Zen, we need... Oh, let's find out. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? Nothing okay. more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. If there was a conversation at the start of that, we would have kept with it. Bit. We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can run. 
rummage through gas debris. You yourself sent the life sign for a week. They might already be dead. It's not... Zen, you can always send a salvage team later. Unless there is a debater because we're defeated due to a lack of gas technology. Fine. I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Thanks, Shepard. As if I wouldn't support Tali. Okay, um, we're basically at the end of another video. It's probably not the most riveting episode because... But yeah, um, yeah, it's not the most exciting thing. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll do that. We have email too. We have more email. Um. Oh, that's what I should have done too. Um. And this is Dawn from the previous mission, or oh, well, his cousin. Yep. Okay. Um. Just quickly wanted to check something because I think there's an amusing uh, thing. I really hate that. For whatever reason, that is just massively annoying to me every time I have to walk through it. So, but I was just going to check out war assets after that mission because I think there is something kind of amusing in there. Uh, let's see, Geth forces, yeah. Ah, okay, nope. Ah, oh, well. The point is, we're up to thirty-one oh eight, um, and we've. Yeah, we've hit the minimum, we're up to 3108, we need 4000, we should easily hit that at this point. Um, so we've got a lot more to get. Um, I think we can probably end up with over like five, 6000 thereabouts. Um, but yeah, to get the best ending to the game you actually need 4000, um, which is what we're aiming at. And we're most of the way there, so it's not been that hard. Yes, everyone's emailing about stuff on the Citadel. Anyway, um, that's uh, going to be the end of this. We're going to finish this whole sort of quarry and story arc in the next episode. Hopefully there's one more mission to do, I believe. Um, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all then.